Phật ở cái vị Okay. <clears throat> okay, so last class we have what we have done, I think we have done about traps, right? We have done about the traps okay so next is your like uh, it's almost complete this module is almost complete this is the last uh, like topic and then uh, we will start off your last module that is your solid waste management okay but uh, before that let me uh, complete this one so um, after your like house plumbing system we were discussing that we have discussed what is a trap what are the different types of traps or uh, almost we have studied in the last class so next is the like systems of plumbing okay so like there are like four principal systems that are adopted like in plumbing of drainage work in a building so uh, number one is your two pipe system number two is one pipe system Number three is a single stack system and number four is your partially ventilated single stack system. Okay, so we will be discussing one by one with each of the diagrams. Okay, we have the diagrams also. So number one is your two pipe system. So what is a two pipe system? Like it is the most improved type of uh, plumbing system okay so in this system so what happens two sets of like vertical pipes are laid okay like one is for one pipe is used for draining the night soil okay and the other is for draining the silage okay so night soil and silage terms i have already explained at the beginning of your wastewater uh, while we discussed wastewater treatment so i have already discussed what is silage or what is night soil i have already discussed okay so like one pipe it carries your uh, night soil and the other uh, pipe it carries your training uh, like training the silage okay so these pipes they are of the first set carrying the night soil they are known as your soil pipes and the pipes that carry your like uh, silage okay from baths and, and kitchens and all so that is your known as your silage pipes or waste pipes okay so 
like the soil fixtures uh, like such as latrines and urinals those are all like connected through branch pipes okay like a branch pipes to the vertical soil pipe and whereas like the sludge fixtures like you can say uh, baths sinks wash basins so all those are connected through branch pipes to the vertical waste pipe okay so the soil pipe uh, like uh, along with your waste pipe those are separately ventilated by uh, like providing with uh, this uh, vent pipes okay they are ventilated by providing separate vent pipes or also you can say anti siphonage pipes okay so what is anti siphonage we will come later so like uh, this arrangement so like basically what is the main thing of your two pipe system there are two pipes laid uh, like two vertical pipes are laid then one uh, system of your pipe uh, like one set of pipe is carrying your light soil and the other is uh, draining the sludge okay and the pipe that is carrying the light soil is known as your soil pipe and the second set carrying sludge Uh, is known as your sludge pipe or waste pipe okay so this is the diagram you see this is your diagram okay of your uh, like this uh, two pipe system so you you can see here this pipe this pipe is your soil pipe carrying your like uh, so night soil okay and this is your waste pipe or also you can say it is your sludge pipe carrying the sludge only okay so this is a uh, like a sketch of your two pipe system plumbing okay so uh, next is your one pipe system what is a one pipe system so in this system like uh, instead we use like two pipes in two pipe system so here for carrying the sludge and the night soil uh, as it is done in the two pipe system here only one main vertical pipe will be provided okay here only like as the name suggests one pipe system so there will be like only one main vertical pipe and that will collect the night soil as well as the sludge water okay that will collect the night soil as well as the sludge water from the respective fixtures through branch pipe okay so uh, this one pipe will only carry the boot so this main pipe it is again ventilated in itself by providing cowl at its top and in addition to this a separate vent pipe however is also provided so here the main pipe it is ventilated at its top and then again uh, a separate vent pipe is also provided okay so uh, if, if you count then there will be uh, in, there will be two pipes okay this system does has two pipes instead of four pipes of the two pipe system so like basically one, uh, that is one is your vent pipe and the other main pipe is your like carrying the sludge and the night soil but along with this one vent pipe will also be there so it is here said that there will be two pipes okay so uh, this is a diagram you can see this is a diagram of your uh, one pipe system of plumbing okay so basically uh, this pipe okay this pipe you can see the main pipe it is carrying your both the soil uh, like night soil plus your sludge okay this is second floor this is first floor this is ground floor okay so it is carrying this pipe is only carrying your both your uh, soil night soil and the sludge and along with this this is connected to a vent pipe you can see for providing the ventilation okay so like number 3 is your single stack system so this system it is a single pipe system without providing any ventilation pipe so here it will be only one pipe okay which will carry the sewage uh, along with sewage also the sludge okay it will carry both the sewage and sludge and it it is not provided with any separate vent pipe 
okay here ventilation pipe will not be there in single stack system okay so except that it itself is extended up to two meter higher than the roof level and provided with a cowl for removal of foul gases as shown in the figure so here it is said that that one pipe will only be there that will carry your sludge as well as your uh, like sewage and that pipe it itself is like extended up to two meter okay higher but then the uh, where the roof is roof level is there from there it is again extended up two meter and then it is provided with a cowl and that is used for removing the foul gases okay so you see here this is the diagram okay this is a diagram of your single stack system of plumbing this is the only pipe you can see Okay, and at the top, this is the roof level, and then it is again extended up two meters, and it is provided with a cowl, and that removes your foul gases. Okay, so last is your partially ventilated single stack or single pipe system. Okay, so what is a partially ventilated single stack or single pipe system? So, like it is an improvised form of a single stack system in the sense that in this system, the traps of the water closets, they are separately ventilated by a separate vent pipe called relief vent pipe. So, what it is said here is that this is like from the name itself, you can see it is partially ventilated single stack or single pipe system. That means it is an improvised form of your single stack system. And uh, here, like the, the traps we have uh, read in the last class, what is a trap? So, the traps of the water closets they are like uh, ventilated separately by a separate vent pipe, and that is known as your relief vent pipe okay and in this system it uses two pipes as in a single pipe system but here the cost of the branches or you can see also laterals it is considered considerably it is uh, reduced okay compared to your single pipe system why? Because here the silage features, they are not connected to the vent pipe. Okay, here that's why here, uh, the, here the cost of the branches or you can say the laterals, they are, uh, you can say it is comparably, it is uh, low as compared to your single pipe system. And then you see the diagram here. This is the diagram of your partially ventilated single pipe system. So here you can see this is the pipe. It is carrying your both the night soil and the silage. Okay. And at the top it is provided with a towel so that it can remove the foul gases in both the, and there is also one vent pipe here. Okay. This is a vent pipe. Okay. So these four are your systems of plumbing. Okay, if uh, like question comes, what, what are the systems of plumbing? So there are four uh, systems of plumbing. Number one is your two pipe system. Number two, two is your one pipe system. Then single stack system. And number four is what? Partially ventilated single stack system. Clear? Okay, then after this. After this, uh, there is a small topic like uh, it's a ventilation of house drains. So, like uh, the entire, like the entire sewerage system of a house. Okay. So, uh, till now, whatever we have studied, the entire sewerage system of a house it is ventilated by providing vent pipes and what antiseptic pipes. Okay. And again, sometimes by fresh air inlet. So, like. 
this ventilation pipes or ventilation system they are required why to serve some of the following purposes so what are those purposes like it uh, it is used okay or this ventilation system it is used to relieve the like uh, pressure of foul gases developed in the house drains and uh, if it is not provided then uh, it, it this pressure of foul gases if it is not removed then what will happen the water seals it will break okay the it will break the water seals of the shallow seal traps then again it is also used to like prevent breakage of traps seals by siphonic action and then again it is used to dilute the foul gases in the trees and to reduce their obnoxious effects in case of in case such gases happen to escape like basically your house uh, this ventilation it is provided mainly it is uh, like to relieve the pressure of your foul gases that is developed in the house trees okay so basically uh, this is the main reason then uh, another one is your like uh, just now we uh, while reading we got one term an uh, anti siphonage pipe so what is an anti siphonage pipe you see this the diagram it seems to be like this okay so like the water seals uh, of traps like in multi storied buildings or houses may sometimes it may get broken due to what due to siphonic action like uh, when suppose the waste water okay it is uh, it is written here you see when the waste water it is suddenly discharged from a sanitary fixture a suppose this is a okay this is a sanitary fixture a on the upper floor it moves rapidly through the soil pipe okay this is a soil pipe so it is directly moving to the downward okay it moves down rapidly to the soil pipe a and in its movement it may suck some air from the lateral pipe connecting the soil pipe with the fixture at the lower level so what it is said here that when like this uh, suddenly this wastewater it is discharged from this sanitary fixture okay a then what will happen it is on the upper floor so it will rapidly move uh, downward through the soil pipe okay through the soil pipe and while during its movement so what may happen it may stop some air from the lateral pipe okay it may suck some uh, uh, it may suck some air from the lateral pipe connecting the soil pipe with the fixture at the lower floor okay so this sucked air causes like uh, action of siphon siphonic action and this results in the flow of water from the trap of the fixture to the soil pipe and thus breaking its water seal this is how like a water seal it breaks okay so like to overcome this type of uh, difficult situation a separate pipe of like smaller diameter it is attached to the traps okay it, a, it is a small diameter pipes those are always attached to the traps which connects the trap with the vent pipe so this pipe it, uh, this smaller diameter pipe it is known as your anti siphonage pipe and it supplies what it supplies air to the short branch pipe of the lower fixture so it this anti siphonage pipe it supplies air to the short branch of the lower fixture okay so basically this is the work of your anti siphonage pipe okay so uh, with this we have uh, like completed your uh, number fifth module that is your plumbing system we have completed okay so this one i will be sharing with you in whatsapp i will share this uh, document so now next is your like uh, um, like one module is left okay one module is left that is your um, what is what was that oh yes uh, waste water management okay so sorry sorry so not waste water management solid waste management okay
okay so solid waste management there i will have to now i don't have the notes with me but i will share this notes along with today's class uh, together i will share but before that uh, solid waste management next class i will do what is solid waste management okay but before that uh, let me uh, give you an idea okay about solid waste management first to uh, see one video okay i want to show you one video and then um, you will be getting some idea about solid waste management okay so like basically solid waste waste management from the name itself it is like the you know you can say the generation or of your solid and semi solid waste okay in a community okay solid waste management is what basically it is not useful to us and all those refuses and waste that we uh, that is generated in our domestic houses or it might be in any industry okay so all those things that we are throwing in a dustbin okay we always what we do we uh, whenever in our house also suppose there is a like uh, you can say some waste vegetables okay then waste uh, paper then waste newspaper so what we all do we just throw it in a dustbin yes then after that what we, after this is not the end okay like we, when we throw it in a dustbin this is not the end so something have to be like we have to dispose that somewhere okay so what is the total like process so that is your uh, solid waste management we will be studying okay basically two classes we will be finishing that off okay that's not a big chapter but uh, before that i would like to show you one video you just watch that video okay for today okay Welcome to the session on Introduction to Waste. We humans depend on many things from our environment to satisfy our various needs. And in the process of our development, we generate or produce a lot of things which are actually of no use to us and we simply discard them. We often buy packet foods, bottled drinks, canned food, etc. But what exactly we do after having it? We throw away the wrapper or the bottles, right? And what about the leftover food or vegetables from the kitchen? Yes, even that goes into our dustbin. We discard lot of things like the old newspaper, plastic and cardboard wrappings, broken objects and the list just continues. We discard or throw away such things because they can no longer be of any use to us or they might be unwanted, defective, old or worthless. And such objects which are no longer of any use to us are called waste. This waste can be as small as a used pen to as large as an old vehicle also waste to one person may not necessarily be waste to another we normally get rid of the waste generated at homes by keeping our bins outside the house right but is that the end of it no these wastes undergo series of processes right from its collection segregation transportation some wastes are even treated and then finally are disposed of so let's see the various places of its origin from where the waste can be collected let's begin with the waste generated in our house 
during the various day-to-day -day activities, which is the domestic waste. The next one is industrial waste. This includes all the various waste generated during different industrial processes. The next one is clinical or biomedical waste. This mainly includes the waste from the hospitals, nursing homes, pathological laboratories, medical clinics, etc. Agricultural activities, which generate different waste products. Animal waste. This includes animal waste products associated with agriculture and also the waste from slaughterhouses. Nuclear waste. The waste products of the nuclear power plants includes radioactive minerals and metals. Utmost care has to be taken for this type of waste. Mineral waste. It includes heavy metal residues found around mines like lead, arsenic, cadmium, etc. These metal particles pollute the surrounding air and water. Well friends, here we are done with collecting waste from all the various places of its origin. The next we have to do is segregate them or say separate them. But how will we be doing that? Well, there are certain ways by which we can classify the waste. Let's look at them one by one. According to the kind or form of waste generated, we classify waste into three categories. The solid waste can be easily seen. It is generated from different types of activities like construction, industries, mining, domestic use, etc. The waste water from our homes and the liquid chemical effluents from various industries are liquid waste. Can you all guess any type of gaseous waste? Gaseous waste includes poisonous gases from various industries. On the basis of amount of moisture present in the waste, it is of two types wet waste and dry waste. You might have all seen those plastic containers which are mostly kept alongside the pavements, right? Another way of classification of waste is according to their effect on human health and environment. Hazardous. From the name itself, we know hazard means some kind of danger or risk, right? Hazardous wastes are those wastes that could be toxic and harmful to humans, animals and plants as well. These wastes may catch fire very easily. They are very reactive, corrosive and even explosive. These wastes can be from hospital, industrial or even domestic in origin. Whereas the non-hazardous waste are the ones which does not have any harmful effect on our environment or life on earth. According to their properties, waste can be classified as biodegradable and non-biodegradable. Waste that are organic, the one which can be easily broken down by the action of microorganisms over the time are called biodegradable waste whereas the non-degradable waste are the ones which cannot be broken down by microorganisms and will remain on the earth for years until we properly manage them. So friends, here we saw the various ways by which we can classify the waste. But wait a second, in which category of waste Will this old television set fall under? Old television set and similar products like computers, VCRs, stereos, fax machines, etc. fall under a special category of waste called e-waste or waste electronic or electrical equipment. It is the name given for electronic products nearing the end of their useful lives.
After knowing all these, aren't you guys wondering why we need to study or know about things which are just waste for us? This is because when left uncared, these waste accumulate and cause serious health hazards. And we all know plastic degrades very slowly, which is why it is such a big problem. Moreover, many aquatic animals like whales, seal, turtles die every year from plastic bag litters as they often mistake plastic bags for their food. Similarly, many terrestrial animals like cows, dogs and even many birds eat plastic from the dumping sites and ultimately leading to their death. Apart from causing these health hazards, they even add to different types of pollution like air, water, soil, etc. One such health hazard occurred long back in 1953 in a small city called Minamata in Japan, which had the region's largest fertilizer producing industry. The Minamata Bay present in that city was highly polluted with the wastewater released from fertilizer plant which contained excessive amounts of mercury in it. The highly toxic compound bioaccumulated in fish and shellfish in the bay, which were eaten by the people living around the bay, which gave rise to Minamata disease. It is a toxic disorder of central nervous system. So to conclude, we saw the various sources of waste classified them and also saw the health hazards associated with improper waste management. So in our upcoming session, we will see the various ways by which we can reduce or treat or some ways of managing this waste. So stay tuned with Let's Do It. So you have seen the video, a very nice video and it was explained very simply, isn't it? What is waste management? So it's a very uh, good video. I think uh, by watching the video, you have understood a bit. Not a bit, but uh, yes, you have understood because this is all about your solid waste management. Okay. So next class, I will be explaining your solid waste management along with again, if I can, I will show you some more interesting videos, okay, related to solid waste management. Okay, then uh, let me quickly take your attendance. If uh, the meeting gets over in the uh, need of your attendance, then you join again, okay? Rejoin again. Row number one. Row number one. Row number two. Three. Four, am I audible? 